What's up guys? In this video, we're going to be talking about downgrading your card and why it would be a good idea. For more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. But for now, come on and vibe with me, baby. Boom! <laughs> What's up guys, it's Jay and welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also give this video a thumbs up, it really does help me out, I really appreciate it. And comment down below if you feel like I missed any cards out there, just help the community out and let them know about any other downgrade options that I might have missed in this video. I really appreciate it. Also guys, do not forget about my $100 American Airlines gift card giveaway for once I hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you are new to the channel or you've been around, just be sure to participate in the comment section and like the videos and make sure that you're subscribed. I really appreciate it. If you are not familiar with, with what downgrading is, it's also referred to a product change. The reason why you would do something like like this is if you have a card that has an annual fee and you're really only either getting the card for the sign up bonus or if you really don't see that you're getting any particular value from that card moving forward in the future so you want to make sure that you guys are smart when you're setting up your applications because there are some cards that do not have downgrade options or product change options, I should say, to no annual fee cards. That's why I really like Chase for this is because they have a wide range of cards that you can downgrade to from both the uh, personal card side and the business side. So we'll start with Chase first, seeing how I know them just probably the, the best out of all the other card issuers. So with the Chase uh, setups, you can get the uh, Chase Sapphire Reserve, which is a $450 uh, travel card that comes with a $300 travel credit, which essentially drops the annual fee down to $150. But if you are not seeing any value out of the card uh, in year two or year three or year four, moving forward, just in general, Chase allows you to downgrade or product change that card to a Chase Freedom or a Chase Freedom Unlimited. And that's pretty valuable in my opinion. The ability to be able to upgrade or downgrade your cards uh, at will um, without having to close your credit card account and um, you know, I'll, I'll go over later on in the video why you don't want to close your credit card. Uh, and it has nothing to do with credit at the moment. That's for a separate video actually, but I'll, I'll kind of give you guys a little bit of information on why you shouldn't. Um, but yeah, so I think that's pretty valuable to be able to, uh, you know, just kind of move freely between that, you know, those three cards um, if you don't want to pay an annual fee. Um, basically, what you want to do is you have to have the card for at least a year, at least a year. And once you see that uh, annual fee hit in the second year, all you do is you call chase you say hey I'm not really getting any value out of this card and would you guys be willing to offer either a retention offer something that's gonna allow you to keep the card where you might get an extra set of bonus points for hitting a certain amount of spend over the course of a certain period of time uh, that's usually the first option you want to do um, and then if there is no retention offer for you then basically you just ask to you know product change to either a chase freedom or a chase freedom unlimited I would recommend Recommend going to the Chase Freedom just because it has that 5% rotating categories and if you already have one then you can kind of double up on those 5% rotating categories um, so that's just for the Chase personal side uh, also for the business side if you have the Chase Inc preferred that's a $95 annual fee card and um, if you're not really seeing any benefit out of it uh, in my opinion I think that card is pretty valuable uh, for the business side just because it offers three uh, three points on you know certain categories and so uh, if you're not really wanting to pay that annual fee after you've hit that 80,000 point sign up bonus you can always call them and ask them to product change down to a, a Chase Inc unlimited or a Chase Inc cash card and uh, I mean, yeah, you'll probably have one or two of the same cards, but it doesn't matter because uh, I don't, you know, in my opinion, I don't think Chase really cares that you have more than one of the same exact card. Um, so as long as you're keeping your account open 
and you're remaining a customer with them, that I think that's really the only thing you know they care about. They just want to continue to have that relationship with you and be able to capitalize on your business, basically. And so next, we're going to move into American Express. Anytime you reference American Express, you look at the platinum, you look at the gold, and the green card just kind of crap. So that's just, you know, well, for right now at least. Um, so one thing you guys got to know about American Express is that those are charge cards. They're not credit cards. And if you don't want to know what they are, just get on Google and say, what is a charge card? And that'll help you out right there. Just nice and easy. Uh, but all of those cards do not have a downgrade option or a product change option to a no annual fee card. Now you can product change from the platinum to the gold or from the platinum to the green or from the you know from the gold to the green whatever it is you can downgrade but the green card is actually ninety five dollars a year just to keep that card and so right now the green card is not really that valuable in my opinion and I'm sure a lot of people in this in the credit card space would agree with me but if you don't end up wanting any of those cards then you're probably gonna have to end up canceling the card and that's something you definitely don't want to do um, now they do have other cards like a lot of their co-branded cards do have downgrade options like their Delta personal cards and their Hilton on the personal side um, they all have downgrade options so you can downgrade from the Hilton Aspire down to the regular Hilton Honors card uh, if you don't want to pay that $450 annual fee for the Hilton Aspire card and uh, you can also downgrade your Delta Reserve down to I believe it's just the regular Delta card it's their no annual fee it might be the Delta Blue Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, I think it's the Delta Blue card that is uh, their downgrade option for, you know, the uh, the no annual fee option. Um, so that's always good to know. <clears throat> and uh, if you're going, if you're looking at City, you are probably thinking about the City Prestige, but you're probably thinking that you want to downgrade that card as well, seeing how City has just like tore up their whole program by gutting their benefits program so uh, I mean it's you know it's really up to you you guys really do your research before you decide to apply for a card it is very important because if you have to end up canceling a card and you do it within that one year and then let's say later on down the road you want to apply for one of those cards well in the terms and conditions of the card member agreement it states that if they think that you are participating in some type of illegal action to try to churn points or just to um, get the you know points bonus and then you're canceling the card basically what can happen is they can either come back at you and ask for those you know that money back or those points back or what's gonna happen is you might want to sign up with them for a different card and they will not allow you to get the bonus for that card so basically your whole thought process is I'm gonna sign up for a card so I can get that bonus and American Express or Chase or City uh, they might be like okay well this person has signed up with us before and they closed their account with us we're not gonna allow them to get the bonus because they're sketchy right so that's one thing you don't want it to come back and bite you in the ass for you know something that um, you know that you really didn't know was possible so just make sure that you guys know that and you know always consider downgrading before you cancel also make sure that you have the card for at least a year before you decide to downgrade the card do not they will not allow you to do it within the first year or within that yeah they will not allow you to do it within that first year uh, so uh, always just be aware of that and you always want to downgrade at the time that your annual fee hits that's probably the best time you don't want to do it in the middle of the year or anything like that because then uh, if you do end up doing that then you might lose you know some leverage just in case you might just want to try to get a retention offer so you could get some more bonus points for hitting a certain uh, minimum spend or something within that period of time that they give you so uh, don't cancel the cards guys uh, always keep the good relationships with the banks and kind of use them 
to get that free travel and don't carry any balances either. Don't do any unnecessary spending. Don't spend beyond your means. Don't try to stunt on people because here, stunting is not a habit. I'm sorry because like, if you can't pay for it for one and then you can't pay your credit card bill off for two, then you're not really stunting. You're putting yourself in debt to try to impress other people, which is stupid. Don't do it. So that's why I'm kind of at odds with my American Express Gold card because I don't really want to cancel the card. So I'm hoping that, you know, they might do a refresh with the green card so that way I can keep my points and I can keep a relationship with uh, American Express so that way if I want to apply for a platinum card or anything like that later on down the line that they allow me to get the bonus because I'm not sitting here constantly canceling their cards. Also another thing is once you get a bonus for your card that you want, don't cancel the card period. That's just dumb. You're going to set yourself up for so many bad things moving forward, uh, especially if that's a bank that you want to keep associating yourself with, like American Express for one. Uh, never get a bonus and cancel the card. Like, that's just a little rant right there, but just don't do that crap. Like, it's dumb. Like, so at least keep the card for a year and make sure it's a card that you can downgrade to if you don't want to pay the annual fee. So just be smart about it and move forward. And then once you're able to actually be comfortable with paying an annual fee, you know, 400, 500 bucks, then apply for the card. And if you plan on keeping it, then keep it. If not, then downgrade it to something. If, if it's not a card that doesn't have a downgrade option to a no annual fee, then downgrade it to a, an option that they might have that will cost you less, right? So, and then also be, aware that not all business cards have downgrade options to no annual fee cards as well. Uh, with the Chase Inc. cards, those luckily have options, but not all of them, especially co-branded cards. Not all of them have uh, you know, the downgrade option to uh, no annual fee cards. So that's all I wanted to kind of give you guys uh, some information on. And that'll conclude today's video, guys. More of it. And that'll conclude today's... And that'll conclude today's video, guys. For more video updates, hit that subscribe button. If you found this information to be helpful, give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends. Drop a comment down below to let me know if I missed any cards that have downgrade options or if you even knew about this in the first place, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell notifications down in the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever I drop my next video. Be a good person, be safe, be smart, and remember, credit is your life. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.